A Kansas State University study says depletion of the High Plains Aquifer peaked in 2006 and its use will decrease nearly 50 percent over the next 100 years. The findings released this week show the eight states sitting above the aquifer are using water at different rates. For example, depletion in Texas peaked in 1999, Kansas in 2010, but it's not projected in Nebraska, South Dakota or Wyoming before 2110. There are efforts to preserve one of the nation's most valuable water sources. The USDA announced last week it will provide Nebraska $2.4 million in the 2016 fiscal year for its ongoing Ogallala Aquifer Initiative. We talked with Craig Derrickson from Nebraska's Natural Resources Conservation Service Wednesday to learn how that project is helping to manage the state's groundwater. Well, the uh, Ogallala Aquifer Initiative is a subset of our most popular conservation program here in Nebraska uh, and that program is the Environmental Quality Incentive Program or EQIP as it's commonly known through across the country and um, the Oglala Aquifer Initiative is just additional funds through that EQIP program that we've had for the last five years and we've been using it specifically to uh, put focus on water conservation and irrigation improvements that can benefit the uh, health and condition of the aquifer. This new round of funding from the USDA for fiscal year 2016, about $2.4 million, what will that money be used for? We'll use those funds to um, work with farmers and ranchers who want to improve their uh, water conservation. Uh, for example, in the past we have helped a lot of farmers uh, convert from their surface irrigation system to a much more efficient system like a center pivot system and more recently there's been growing interest in subsurface drip irrigation which is sort of the ultimate inefficiency because you have almost no water loss or evapotranspiration and we do other conservation practices that um, help conserve um, moisture in the soil such as no-till and residue management and those practices are also good at uh, benefiting water quality to help control um, runoff and the nutrients that uh, go with the runoff. Are there key focus areas for this year? There are um, and going uh, back in time just a little bit um, the funding that we have for this has always needed to be prioritized um, targeted, if you will, to certain areas. And so for the past two years, um, our office has released um, essentially requests for proposals for uh, groups and organizations that want to put forward sort of a, an idea of how they think they can help us maximize the use of these funds to get the biggest bang for the buck, if you will. So in Nebraska for fiscal year 16, we have uh, four priority areas in Nebraska that are associated with our um, natural resource districts. You've said that Nebraska as a state is ahead of the curve in managing its groundwater from the Ogallala Aquifer. In what way? Well, I think one of the things that we need to give a lot of credit to is the natural resource districts, the NRDs that we have here in Nebraska. You know, they've been in place a little more than 40 years and um, they focus heavily on water management and water issues in Nebraska. They, um, all of the districts have uh, water management plans and um, they do a very good job of creating the focus and the attention that's necessary to improve the water resource. You know, and in a state like Nebraska, we say we're blessed because we have such highly fertile prairie soils. We have this great water resource, the Ogallala. Uh, we are positioned probably better than any state and maybe any country in the world in terms of the soil and water resources that we have. And so I'm always happy to say the, the districts as well as our state government system does a really good job of helping us protect those resources and encourage our farmers and ranchers to be good stewards, and they are. Craig says if producers are interested in getting involved with the Ogallala Aquifer Initiative, they can submit a funding application throughout the year at their local NRCS office.